Hey guys, um, welcome back. Uh, in this video part, we are going to code a pattern which is consisting three candles in it. Okay, so for that, I have taken this uh, as an example where we have uh, this bearish candle, this uh, another bearish candle, and this bullish candle. Okay, so these three candles we are considering them as uh, we are considering them a pattern and we are going to code it okay this is just as uh, as an example you can uh, code any pattern which is consisting three candles okay so we'll take this as an example and we'll code it okay so let's start <coughs> okay so as you as you know we already know that I will use C1 for our current candle C2 for previous candle and C3 for this one uh, for this candle okay so our C1 is uh, false our C2 is false and our C3 is true so let's go ahead and code it well by the way C, uh, C1 false means this is bearish candle C2 is equal to false mean this is bearish candle and c3 is equal to true means this is uh this is the bullish candle okay if we are coding a pattern like this we'll use c1 is equal to true c2 is equal to true c3 is equal to true okay but uh we're coding this one so in in our case we have c1 false c2 false c3 true so let's go ahead and code it c1 is equal uh, equals true and c2 is equal equals uh let me see no okay c1 is false c2 is false and c3 equals true okay so and now we'll uh we'll code the percentages so let's code um the first one that is check pattern and for our first candle we have 71% um, upper 0% um, lower and 28% body so we'll write like uh, 65 uh, 25 and 0 65 25 and 0 65 25 and 0 and 1 c1 okay uh, let's go ahead and confirm these percentages okay now we'll uh, add um, this candle so we have upper percentage 24 uh, we'll consider we'll take like 20 65 and 3 20 65 and 3 uh, I forgot 20 65 and 3 20 65 and 3 will pass 2 and C2 now the third candle check pattern and we have 20 65 and 3 20 65 and 3 20 65 and 3 we'll pass 3 in here because it's the third candle and we'll pass c2 in here okay so this is all i guess uh, now let's go ahead and compile it and we want a down arrow to be placed here we want to draw arrow here so we'll write this function draw arrow and down and one compile it and now let's go ahead and check whether it, it works or not so let's stop it and let's start it
Okay, there you go. <clears throat> so, um, this was pretty much all about this uh, three video parts. Um, well, this indicator or this EA is limited to three candles. Okay, if you have a pattern which is um, which consists of four candles, you cannot code in it. Okay because these c1 c2 and c3 and all these uh, all this information which you can see here is coded up here okay so uh, we need some modifications if we want uh, this ea to um, uh, like to include four candles or five candles um, then uh, we have to modify it but for now you can code uh, patterns which uh, which are consisting of one, two, or three candles. Okay, and uh, what you have to do, you just write um, you just write if conditions uh, like this, and pay, uh, you start coding uh, you start coding them below here. Okay. Um, so this was pretty much all about this video part I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned a lot uh, in case you have any questions or something you are you find you find difficult to understand you can contact me and ask it from me so this was all see you next time have fun take care bye bye